All right, so let's get started. First things first, we need to start putting some information into our spreadsheet. So let's start thinking about what it is that we're doing. As I mentioned in a previous screencast, we are going to be doing a, a budget for a five song CD recording. So let's go ahead and put that, um, put that at the top here just as a little title. So I'm going to say my band's name is the Robo Bunny All Stars. There we go. And uh, we're going to be doing a five song CD recording budget. Okay, so I'm just going to I've just type that in. We're not going to worry about any formatting or anything like that. We'll talk about that later. I'm just going to hit return or enter. And then I'm just going to move down here to line three or to row three. And let's start just listing a few things. I'm going to start by writing expenses because we have to write down all the stuff we're going to spend money on. Okay, I'm just going to move down a little bit here and I'm going to put income. Okay, don't worry too, too much about exactly which line you're putting this on because I'm going to teach you how you can move those things around. Okay, so we're going to list all our expenses and then we're going to list all of our income. Now, um, I want to start this by just saying that um, this isn't really a budgeting class. All right, um, I'm going to walk through creating this budget. Um, but it's really as a mechanism to show you how spreadsheets work, okay? Some of the budget items or some of the budget numbers that I put in here are gonna be a little silly. Um, and so please don't think that this is strictly speaking an accurate recording budget, um, but we're just having fun with it, okay? But the actual uh, skills that you're gonna learn in terms of how to use the spreadsheet, the technical part of it, that's, uh, that's what I want you to focus on, okay? In the meantime, let's have a little bit of fun with this. Um, what I like to do when I'm in the whenever I'm thinking about budgeting, I just like to do a brain dump of everything I'm going to have to spend money on. Okay. Um, I'm not going to worry too, too much right now about exactly what those numbers are. I'm just going to do a brain dump of everything that I know I'm going to have to spend money on in order to do this CD recording budget. Okay. So the first thing I know I'm going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to rent a recording studio to track, okay. Or to record, uh, the bed tracks and the overdubs. That's basically the main, you know, musical instrument part parts that I want to have on my five song CD. And so I'm going to go ahead and put tracking days. That's just kind of musician speak for recording, you know, days in a recording studio. And uh, this is going to be for both bed tracks and overdubs. Bed tracks, that's everything you record at once, including the drums and the, and the bass. Um, and then the overdubs are all that extra stuff that you add on later on. And I'm not going to worry about anything in terms of formatting or anything like that. Again, we're just focusing on doing that brain dump. Um, let's hire a session musician. That's something we should do. I know we're a good band, but you know, once in a while you have to hire a really hot session musician to make your CD really awesome. So let's, uh, ooh, there's only two S's there, a uh, session musician. And uh, my session musician is going to be uh, playing, what instrument should they play? I know. Let's have them play the theremin. Do you know what a theremin is? I should actually, I should actually provide a link to a theremin. Theremin is a really cool, weird instrument, and so let's uh, let's let's hire a theremin player for our 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 recording, okay? Um, and the theremin player is only going to play on three songs. I'm going to make a little note here that they're only playing on three songs out of the five songs. Okay, I'm going to hire a producer. Producer is going to sort of keep everybody on track and sort of give us overall musical direction. Um, and usually. Producers happen to charge per song. Uh, some producers charge differently, but this one charges per song. So I'm just going to put that as a little note per song. Uh, next, I'm going to have to hire a mixing engineer. Okay, mixing, that's basically the person who takes all those tracks, puts them together in the right quantities and, and makes things sound really awesome. Typically, your mixing engineers charges per song. So I'll just make a little note there too, that the mixing is going to be per song. Um, I'm going to have to hire, ooh, well, we're going to be pressing CD and I want the artwork to be really, really awesome. So we're going to have to hire a graphic designer. Okay, so let's put graphic designer and uh, they're going to be doing the CD artwork and layout because I really suck when it comes to graphic design. So I'm going to hire somebody else to do that. Okay, so I've put that in. By the way, I'm just typing this stuff in and using, if you're wondering, I'm just typing stuff in and either you're using the tab key to tab over to the next cell or you can also use the return key to tab downwards okay or to move downwards um and then uh, finally finally oh look we seem to be running out of space here um so here's where i'm going to show you how to insert a row this is one of
one of your first tricks you're going to learn about it doing or data entry and actually adding information to a spreadsheet. If you ever want to insert a row, okay, into a spreadsheet, all you need to do is just hover your mouse over here, the numbers where the rows are, the, the row numbers, right click on that and then there'll always be something that pops up and you have an option to insert a row. And again, whether you're doing this in LibreOffice or Excel, there'll always be some sort of option to do this. Even the web applications are like this too. So all you need to do again is you just hover over wherever you want to insert the row. So let's say I want to add a row between row 8 and 9 right there. So I'm just going to go one row below, I'm going to right click, I'm going to click insert row, and look, it just added one row there for me. So isn't that fantastic? All right, so there's your first trick that you just learned. So what do I want to write here? Um, what am I missing? Oh, manufacturing. We have to press our CDs. We're going to have to pay for that. So let's put manufacturing, okay? Um, all right. I think that's all I can think of that we're going to spend money on for now. Again, remember, this isn't a budgeting class, okay? This is just a, a we're just going through this as an exercise. So, so this will be good enough for now. Um, income, we should think about how we're going to make money from our CD, okay? Well, um, I would say that, uh, let's pretend that we're a band that plays, you know, live quite a bit. So I'd expect that there be, there'll be, we'll be selling a lot of CDs at our shows, at our live shows. We call that off the stage sales, okay? off the stage sales. Um, what else? And let's not worry about the numbers right now. Again, we're just doing a brain dump. Uh, oh, well, we might want to have our local retailers uh, sell some CDs. So let's make a line here for local retail sales. It's just handy to have these all separated out so we can have better estimates. Um, we might want to do some mail order, maybe mail order through our website. Oh, speaking of web, there'll probably be some digital downloads. A lot of people will download things digitally now, and sometimes people will download singles and sometimes people will download the entire CD so I'll put full CD okay um, and so a digital download could be either via you know Amazon or iTunes or Bandcamp or any of those services that provide digital downloads for music okay are we forgetting anything um you know what? I think we could probably uh, do some pre-sales. Um, so, but I'd like to put this up here. I'd like to add a line between or a row here between rows 11 and 12. And so do you remember how to do that? Right, we right click, okay, and then we go insert rows, and we're just gonna be able to add an extra row right here. So I'd like to add some pre-sales, okay? And that's basically CDs that are sold before they're available, sort of usually at a discount, and it's a way to raise funds in order to be able to finance all this stuff up here. Um, what else should we do? How about a crowdfunding campaign? That seems to be really popular these days. A lot of independent uh, musicians uh, tend to do crowdfunding campaigns campaigns where they get their fans to sort of uh, donate some money to help them make some some make music or make make a CD and and usually there'll be perks that go along with that so so um, let's add a crowdfunding campaign to here so again I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna insert row because I'd like to put this right up at the top right here I'm gonna write crowdfunding campaign I don't know how much money I'm gonna raise through my crowdfunding campaign but we'll figure that out later okay did we catch everything is this everything I'm gonna be making money off of off of let's see crowdfunding campaign pre-sales off the stage sales local retail sales mail order digital download. Wow, I think that's a lot. Okay, um, that looks good for now. But now we should probably talk about doing a little bit of formatting. Okay, and so now I want to show you some tricks, okay, for doing this. One of the things you probably notice is that a lot of these are overlapping over the edges of these cells. And that's, that might be bugging you. It's kind of bugging me a little bit. I would like to, we can actually resize these cells, okay, to fit the, the extent of this. but um, And so the way that you would do that is you would just hover over the division between the two row, the two columns and you would just drag that over. Well, that's one way of doing it. But can I show you an even cooler way of doing it? All right. Um, this is something that when I show my students this, usually they, they get pretty impressed. It's kind of a neat trick. If you hover your mouse but all over the line between the two columns, okay? And the here, the, the column that we want to expand to kind of fit the contents here is A. If you just hover your cursor over here, you hover your mouse over here, you'll notice how my mouse turns into that little symbol, the little kind of cross symbol right there. Watch what happens when you double click instead of drag, okay? I'm gonna double click right now and see what happened there? 
Yeah, it auto fits to fit the width of the largest, you know, piece of text that's in here. So in this case, it, it is auto fit uh, to fit this title right here. Isn't that beautiful? So that's a really handy trick. And that's basically what makes the difference between doing, you know, doing things the long way and doing things kind of the short, uh, fast way, the quick, fast way. And so that's, that's a cool trick that I, I use all the time. It's going to make you really fast at um, setting up spreadsheets when you get into the habit of doing that. Okay, so um, what else? Is there anything else we should do right now? I think that's a good start, okay? Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about uh, th using our heads, using our imagination and creativity to sort of make some key decisions about how we're going to use this spreadsheet. And that's, that's where the fun part comes in. So I'll see you then.